Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can break the infinite trigger loop in Power Automate. This is the most common problem that happened with every data source. Here in this episode I am considering the example of Dataverse but the same solution is applicable for the SharePoint as well. Let's say for an example here I have real life scenario where I have one table called SQL Sync and Basically, I have created one schedule flow which will loop through my table and update one by one row every time. And it is updating SQL sync table. Now, what happened here is on SQL sync table, I have another flow called when a row is added, modified or deleted. And whenever something is modified, I am performing couple of action. Now, what happened here is whenever this schedule flow is running, automatically at that time this flow is also triggered so sometimes it is going to infinite loop because every time this flow run it trigger the update condition for this flow now how to eliminate this i'm going to show you the solution for the same but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me the Instagram and Twitter IDs are available on your screen or in the description box. So let's get started and apply the solution for the same. Whenever we are creating any flow into our Dataverse, basically we are creating the flow with the service account. That is the best practices to configure all the flow connection with the service account. The reason is that let's say in your organization if you are configuring the flow with the individual account and let's say the employee left the organization at the time you need to reconfigure all the connections again and again. So the best practices for any organization to configure the triggers is using the service account. Now in my case you can see that this is one of my service account which is Dhruvin Shah at digitaldhruvin.onmicrosoft.com. Now what happened here is I have configured all my flow with this account. Now what happened here is whenever this schedule flow is running basically it is updating that item using my service account connection which is through Vinsha. Now to break the infinite loop we need to use this technique. Whatever the user let's say my service account user is through Vin. So if anything is updated through Vin's account do not trigger this particular flow. This flow should only trigger if any other user is updating the item and that is how that infinite loop will be broken. Now how to add that condition? Let's see. To add any trigger condition you simply need to click on the ellipsis of the trigger and then you simply need to click on the setting here over here. When you click on that you will be having an option called trigger condition which specify one or more expression which must be true for the trigger to fire. Now over here we need to apply our trigger condition. Now over here I need to apply that if this flow is executed with service account means Thruvin's account I don't want to trigger this flow and that is how that infinite loop will be broken. Now here we have used Dataverse as a data source. So first of all we need to identify that what is the user id for this particular trigger. So let's taste this schedule flow first. So I am just going here and clicking on manual trigger at this moment and clicking on run flow. The flow has started running and it ran successfully. Now if we go to the update row we can see that update row has been done successfully and if we check the output section over here we will be getting the modified value over here. So let's see. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that modified on, modified by, all the values are available over here. So over here, you can see that modify value. So what is the display name? Dhruvin's user has modified this thing. And what will be the ID? Modified by value is this one. Means GUID for my user is this one. This is the thing that we are going to use as a part of our trigger condition. If modified value is this one, do not trigger this flow. And now if we go our modified flow here, let's see. Obviously, you can see infinite loop is triggered and many times this flow has started triggering, right? Now we want to avoid this condition and that's why we are doing the thing. 
for that simply go to edit again go to ellipsis go to settings and apply the trigger condition now in trigger condition the very first thing is that you need to write at the rate keyword that is the most important thing and after that you need to pass modified value so how did you find the modified value so you need to use exit same key underscore modified by value you need to find it from your uh, existing flow and you need to write the exit same key and for that you need to add the rate and then let's just add a condition first so the condition would be like this trigger body modified by value then comma and whatever the guid that you copied you need to paste it here so it will basically triggered only for this specific user but now we need the opposite from that so what we will do is we will use not equal to keyword not and then equal equals and then bracket start and bracket end so this is the condition we have used not equals to modify value like dhruvin's service account value so this is the thing so if this is something which is triggered by dhruvin's account this flow will not trigger so let's apply this condition and click on done so we are done click on save the flow has been saved successfully now let's go back and now we need to test our flow so let me just trigger my schedule flow again and let's see if it is going to infinite loop or not and let's check the flow run history over here so over here you can see that earlier it was triggered 50 second ago 53 seconds ago right and now let me just trigger my schedule flow again over here so i'm running my flow and clicking on run flow let's see what will happen so this flow started running over here let's check the run and this flow ran successfully it updated a row with dhruvin's account and now let's go to my next flow which is dataverse trigger flow and let's see if it's executed or not so last time we have seen this thing let's try to refresh the flow still you can see that the flow hasn't triggered the reason is that we have added trigger condition for our dataverse trigger so this is how you can simply break the infinite loop for your dataverse trigger hope this techniques helps you and values your time if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultancy this is the website you can visit that and send it your query if you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles these are the links and if you wanted to follow me on my twitter instagram and podcast these are the links and don't forget to subscribe my another channel called digital thruvin where i am uploading short content on power platform with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye